Hello, everybody. I am going to solve problem 9 from chapter 7, section 12. So we have this um, for a series, what works is we have to create it from this function. I already wrote what this function is in terms of uh, constants and x on the right. And so I'm going to go ahead and try to solve this in the exponential form. So we know that g of, in this case, x will be equals to 1 over 2 pi of negative the integral from negative infinity to infinity of uh, back of x times e to the power of negative i alpha x dx. Let me write this out better. So now what I have to do is actually break it in pieces because we have a piecewise function. Therefore, we're going to have to take our g of x and break it into four different pieces. So from negative infinity to zero, we have our function. I'm so sorry. Let me move this a little bit more, because we're first going to have 1 over 2 pi in front of everything. Of our f of x, which is 0 at this point, uh, times e to the power of negative i alpha x dx. And this term will cancel out immediately, as you can see, because the integral of 0 is still, uh, this is going to be a constant, but we can't, uh, we, we don't know, we can't find it, so it's going to be a 0. Uh, plus the integral, actually here, sorry, it's to negative a. From negative a to 0, of our function, which between negative a and 0, we just said is equals to 2a plus 2x. So I'm just going to write, oops, I'm going to write 2 times a plus x, same thing, times e to the power of negative i alpha x dx, plus then the integral from 0 to a of, well, in this case, we're going to have a, 2 times a minus x, as given by our equation over here. All right, times e to the power of negative i alpha x plus the integral from a to infinity of 0 times e to the power of negative i alpha x dx. Oops, I forgot dx over here. Okay, and here it can be solved as 0. Okay, so we're actually going to have two, two, these two uh, equations. Now, one thing that you might have noticed is that no, we cannot use our trick of simply multiplying by 2 and then having the integral from 0 to a, and then say uh, 2 times a minus x e to the power of negative i alpha x dx. We can't use this because here we're using an exponential function, so it doesn't work that way. Exponential will not be a, uh, it will not be a even function. Even though our begin at the beginning our function is going to be even with the e to the power of negative x or e, it's not going to be even. So now, let's solve this. We're going to get 1 over 2 pi, the integral from, let me write the whole thing, so it's just going to be easier to read here. Negative a to 0 of the 2 in front, a plus x times g power negative i alpha x dx, plus 2 integral from 0 to a of a minus x, e to the power of negative of i alpha x dx, okay? So, as you can see, I can just take the two in front and they will cancel out these two over here. So we're gonna have one over pi, and then let me solve the integral, uh, one plus x. Uh, I'm just gonna skip directly to the uh, integral solution. Of course, we can do it the long way. Um, it's gonna be equals to uh, let me write it like this. Um, I oops, times alpha x plus a alpha minus i times e to the power of negative i alpha x. Um, okay, all over alpha squared from negative a. To zero plus the integral of this, which is then going to be equal to something very similar. It's going to be equal to negative i times alpha x minus al a alpha, uh, yeah, minus i, close parenthesis, 
uh, all times e to the power of i alpha x oops, k, uh, over alpha squared from 0 to a. So let me solve this. So the first one I'm going to get 1 over pi times um so we're gonna have i times first one gonna be zero plus a alpha minus i times c to the power of zero then it's gonna be equals to one all over alpha squared minus i times negative a alpha plus a alpha minus i times e to the power of we're going to have then uh, i alpha a all over alpha squared okay plus then this part over here will be equal to negative i times uh, alpha a plus a alpha minus i times e at the power of negative i alpha a over alpha squared plus I'm gonna do it on the line over here so I don't wanna just uh, crunch everything in there so we're gonna have uh, i times 0 minus a alpha minus i with parentheses um, e for negative i alpha x over alpha squared now, as you can see, there's an alpha squared in everything. So I'm just going to take advantage of this uh, moment of relax, I would say, and take it out from everything. Uh, actually, I'm going to start introducing some things. This one is raised. And uh, oh, here was a, was a negative. I don't know why I wrote it. Positive. Here is erased as well. Perfect. So let me take what's in common. So we're going to have, of course, the 1 over pi in front of everything. And then we're going to take the alpha squared. So what do we have left? Well, from the first one, we're going to have um, i times a alpha uh, plus 1 over, actually, alpha squared is going to be is already taken out. So minus, and then we have uh, 1 e power of e alpha a okay plus and then we have a negative of that so we have um let me see what is a negative positive so it's going to be a negative option negative e negative at the power of negative i alpha a uh plus actually it's going to be a minus I alpha A plus 1, uh, and this one is actually going to be equal to the um, initial E to the power of negative I alpha A. I don't know why I wrote X here. This one was going to be equal to, oh no, this one's going to be equal to 0. So this part over here is cancelled and it becomes 1. Okay. Um, Everything looks alright, yes. So here then now gonna be equal to this one's gonna be equal to uh be negative so plus one. Okay, so we can see that these two terms cancel out, and if we add the things that we have left, pi alpha squared times we're gonna have a two minus and actually gonna put, take the minus in front of everything, and I'm gonna put uh, e the power of i alpha a plus e the power of negative a i alpha a and then I'm going to divide it by 2 so I have to put a 2 in front and as you can see this part over here will then, will then be equals to cosine of alpha a uh, pretty Pretty clearly, I mean, I can write it down. It's going to be equal to uh, e to the power of i alpha a is equal to uh, cosine of alpha a 
plus i sine of alpha a is that e to the power of negative i alpha a is equals to cosine of alpha a minus i sine of oops, alpha a. So if I add these two together, this term over here will cancel, then I will get a two cosine. I'm doing blue because we're talking about blue. Oops. Okay. Two cosine of alpha a. And of course, if I divide it by two, like I said, this is going to seem to be wrong with two cosine of alpha a. So as you can see, I wrote cosine alpha a, and I can take the two that is in common from everything and I have to take it out. So it's going to be equal to two over pi alpha squared times uh, one minus cosine of alpha a. And you can see this is our g of x. And instead, of course, our f of x is then going to be equal to uh, the integral from negative infinity to infinity of g of x times uh, e the power of i alpha a dx. So now uh, we just have to plug in our g value for uh, inside our f of x. Um, so we can just, oh, sorry, this one is just the alpha. Okay, so of course we said that from negative infinity to negative a is going to be equal to zero. So I'm just going to take it as negative a, and then the upper bound will be a. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me leave it at infinity. That's the correct way of writing it. Of g of x, which is going to be equal to this part over here, times, oops, e to the power of i alpha a d alpha. Uh, we can simplify a little bit more and say that it's equals to, we take out the constant, so 2 over pi equals to the integral from negative infinity to infinity, uh, times the integral from negative infinity to infinity, of uh, 1 minus cosine of alpha a times e the power of i alpha a over alpha squared d alpha. So this thing is going to be equals to our solution okay of course it's gonna be um annoying okay now one more that perfect so this is our final solution as you can see it's not too complicated it just needs a little bit of practice and you need to remember that it's not a uh, even function if we add the, uh, the exponential, but if we were to use instead the cosine or sine function, we could use our trick of just multiplying by two and take half the function. But anyway, this is the final solution. You could check it by actually using the cosine solution of our problem, and you would actually get the same. Of course, then you would have to work out your way through the either power of uh, i alpha a, but it's dual if you want to.